Hello guys and welcome to tutorial where I explain everything for absolute beginners who want to understand how Bitcoin works. Today we are going to review Bitcoin basics, so pretty much a history of Bitcoin, who created Bitcoin, where did it come from, then we will talk about why we need Bitcoin and Bitcoin white paper, what is Bitcoin white paper. So let's get into Bitcoin basics guys. Bitcoin was released back in 2008 by mysterious person Satoshi Nakamoto and Satoshi Nakamoto is some person who created Bitcoin back in 2008 and however the first transaction on Bitcoin blockchain technology was done only in 2009. Bitcoin is peer-to-peer -peer digital currency payment systems. This means that you don't need banks or we don't need banks anymore to make payments. If we want to make a payment to someone who wants to send money to us or Bitcoin to us, he can send it directly to us. There is no more financial institutions and this is why banks and other financial institutions hate Bitcoin so much because by with Bitcoin we can make payments directly and we control our funds, we control our Bitcoin, our pretty much assets or money which is Bitcoin privately and this is why huge institutions like banks like I mentioned guys do hate Bitcoin so much. Bitcoin unit has eight decimal places. As you see here guys we have one Bitcoin and 50 Satoshi and Satoshi its name in Bitcoin for example in dollars we have cents in Bitcoin we have Satoshi. It is derived from Satoshi Nakamoto or this mysterious person Satoshi who was developing Bitcoin but nobody has seen him. However there are developers out there who have been working online with Satoshi in developing Bitcoin blockchain technology but nobody has seen Satoshi himself and nobody really knows who is Satoshi. In his name this was created Satoshis so all smallest parts of Bitcoin are known as Satoshis where in dollar for example we have cents and in Bitcoin we have 100 million Satoshis. It has eight decimal places. Here we have one Bitcoin and 50 Satoshis or if we would for example add here one we would have one Bitcoin and 150 Satoshis and if you want to buy Bitcoin you don't need to buy a whole Bitcoin. You can buy only starting from 150 Satoshis if you want. You can buy 200 Satoshis. You can buy 1000 Satoshis if you can't buy a whole Bitcoin and this is different from stock market where you have to buy a whole stock if you you can't buy a small part of that stock where in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency you can buy these small parts of cryptocurrency if you would want to buy. One thing to understand here is that Bitcoin has eight decimal places and smallest parts of Bitcoin are called Satoshis where in dollar we have only two decimal places there are 100 cents in Bitcoin we are having 100 million satoshis and that's the only difference. Bitcoin payment system runs on blockchain also known as distributed. You how Bitcoin blockchain technology works and after these videos you will fully understand and will be able to explain your friends what is Bitcoin, what is blockchain and how blockchain exactly works and that is the my main reason why I'm creating these videos guys for anyone who wants to understand blockchain technology and how it works and later on after this tutorial I will start making videos on programming blockchain development. Pretty much if you will be interested I will show you how to, you can create your own dApps on Ethereum for example or Steam blockchain technology. Bitcoin wallet transactions public key is pretty much your bank account which you are sharing with anyone you are showing for example you want to receive money from business you are showing him that public key or sending him that public key and he is sending you a Bitcoin to that public key and to access those bitcoins which you have on your wallet or for on on bitcoin blockchain technology you use private key so public key for sharing and private keys for accessing your funds however we will we will look at this as well in closer in detail guys in one of future less so guys you don't need to be technical person to start using bitcoin and here is this another confusion guys which many people think that if to start bitcoin you need to be a t guy you need to be technical person however i will show you also in these lessons how you can buy and sell bitcoin if you want to do so why we need bitcoin and this is one another question why would you want to answer and some of 
examples I already mentioned that this gives us a freedom, this gives us a full control of our money, there is no banks who can block us, they can't stop our transactions, they can't stop our accounts for example, they can't even access our accounts, nobody can access your account if you are using a Bitcoin, nobody can access your Bitcoin if you are using a Bitcoin because you, only you, have a private key of your wallet. Low transaction fees, another huge thing about Bitcoin and in cryptocurrencies in general is guys that you have a low transaction fees and it doesn't matter whether you send one Bitcoin or you send thousand Bitcoin or you send one million Bitcoin you will still be paying the same low transaction fee as you are paying because in blockchain technology you are paying for bytes you are not paying for amount how much you are sending that's why transaction fees are very low and fast peer-to-peer -peer transactions so one transaction if you would be sending or receiving Bitcoin from someone takes roughly from 10 to 90 minutes however it can vary depending on how overloaded is blockchain technology however it's now guys uh, there is already a lightning network getting implemented and we will talk about what is lightning network as well transfer unlimited amounts of worldwide this is a huge thing so it takes only 10 to 90 minutes and it doesn't matter whether it's a sunday whether it's a saturday the no bank or financial institutions are control your assets and this is another huge thing guys that you are in control everyone and this gives us a freedom like people it gives us a freedom to blockchain technology to our assets and only we are in control and currently for example many people don't know that money of the world USD United States dollar is not owed by people like in general people but it is not owed by governments even it is owed by private banks so pretty much it could you can think of current United States dollar is owed by Federal Reserve and Federal Reserve is not governmental institution it is a privately owned institution which is owed by private people so this means that someone just like you and me owes the money of the world and they have a printing machine where they can print as many dollars as they want and what the United States government is doing guys they are borrowing from federal as a reserve this means that they are pretty borrowing from that business which is called federal reserve in United States and one more thing guys about Federal Reserve is that they are actually giving all laws or regulations in regards to dollar and how it's being used and so on and so forth and there is also no governments which can control it. To my opinion this is very wrong guys and we have to take control of money because we can't give some bunch of people like 10 people or 10 banks which are, are control of Federal Reserve to keep control of all world's money and this is very important and the same applies pretty much to Europe and European Union because guys in Europe we have central bank and central bank is in control of all money of all countries and you might ask for example if you are in Europe does your government controls your money if you are using a euros in your country so answer is no because central bank is also derived pretty much from federal reserve this is owed by the same people who owe federal reserve couple of people owe all the world's money like europe's money and dollar which is uh, like basic currency of all the world and you know guys that the united states dollar currently is the world's money and euro in europe is kind of european money but imagine if there is that european parliament who which is located in brussels for example and that parliament is in control of all countries money in all European countries money which are included in European Union which are using euros what does it mean that means that they can print as much euros as they want they can come into your country and buy everything buy property buy real estate buy pretty much everything for that paper which they are printing so that is one of the main reasons why we need this freedom why we need to move to blockchain technology and move away from these standard currencies which doesn't how value on not to mention that there is no fiat money or standard currency which has lived longer or which has been longer in circulation than a hundred years and you can check these statistics out for yourself so this all sooner or later will turn into paper where bitcoin 
it stores value guys next thing what we are going to talk about is only 21 million bitcoins will ever be created which makes bitcoin a good stored value this means that currently uh, we have only about 17 million created and bitcoins are being created in mining process which we will in depth as well look in these video series guys and these bitcoins are being mined every day uh, pretty much 1800 bitcoins are being mined and how it is happening why exactly 1800 i will show you as well and explain you in these video series but the main thing is to understand here that it is fixed amount maximum ever bitcoin will be mined is 21 million which gives it so much value on last bitcoin will be mined in 2140 guys year 2140 if you are watching this video now it will not happen not in your lifetime either not in my lifetime because the last bitcoin will be mined in 2140 and we will not live even so long so every bitcoin is a huge value and currently there is only one percent of people in the world who are using bitcoin and even if 21 million people would want to owe each one bitcoin they would not have a chance currently only 17 million people can owe one bitcoin because there is not even 21 million being mined and bitcoin is fully decentralized which makes its power nobody is in control of bitcoin nobody can control bitcoin blockchain technology it is impossible because it runs and controls it itself and we will talk about this as well in these video series but one thing what to bear in mind as you can see here guys i have pointed it out that ownership of bitcoin comes with the responsibility and what i mean by this is that there is public key which is your pretty much account access you can think of box with two keys where there is one key which allows to put only into that box and then there is another key which is private key on blockchain technology on bitcoin which allows you to remove from that box and that box is your money but if you lose that private key you will never ever be able to access your bitcoin again and there is no help there is no restoration process there is nothing once you have lost your private key nobody will ever get that bitcoin it will stay on blockchain technology forever and nobody will have access to that bitcoin this is very important to understand when you are dealing with this because with this freedom comes the responsibility of you as a person and we will talk about how to, how you can get your private keys and how you can get your public keys and how you can store them also and in wallets and what is called wallet what is online wallet what is your desktop software wallet in further videos as well bitcoin white paper what is bitcoin white paper and this is powerpoint presentation and like i mentioned i will add this powerpoint presentation in as well in description once it will be fully finished and once I will finish with these tutorials so this pretty much is a white paper and Bitcoin white paper is a document that is used to describe functionality and problem solution for particular blockchain technology so this is for Bitcoin blockchain technology in this case this white paper so it is describing a functionality how Bitcoin works and if you are interested this was created by Satoshi Nakamoto check this out for yourself and he is not describing in white paper everything in great detail but he is outpointing or pointing out what problems we are solving but i will describe you as well them in these video series so there are also other similar papers for example technical white paper this means that if you are seeing in cryptocurrency projects which you are interested in for example neo or any other cryptocurrencies if you are seeing technical white paper this means that that is technical side on functionality of project technical white papers include technical side so this is for more technical people this is not like white paper where in white paper everything is explained in simple words for anyone to understand what this project is about and what problems it is actually solving where technical white paper is explaining in technical language for more technical people what this project is doing how it is doing and how it is working guys and one pagers usually you can also find on different projects we don't have technical white paper on one pager with bitcoin but on one pagers in cryptocurrency is a short summary of project and team behind it so pretty much it includes in short on one page or in two pages in some cases short description about a project you are looking at and in the next video we will talk about why bitcoin is not a scam 
how governments are joining Bitcoin and many more things. So guys, if you are interested in these lessons where I will start from the very scratch, like now I'm going through very basics guys, and then we will dive into blockchain technology and I will show you how blockchain technology work and explain you in detail. If you are interested, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in my next video.